with a fantastic season. The Canes All-Star, along with Frederick Anderson and, of course, Rod Brindamore, the coach of the Metro Division. And here we go. Whalers Night underway for the sixth time the Canes have put on this uniform. He's missed the last four games, but you know that he is just chomping at the bit to get back out. Here's the Canes win the draw. Put this in the center ice. Yeah, Trocek was just out, just went off just for the purpose of that defensive zone draw. You see these beautiful uniforms. Everything's been well thought out. The Hurricanes have had a couple of practices in a morning skate with the new gloves in particular. Now Brady Shea blocks the puck, but it stays into the Canes zone. And a shot ripped on by Siegenthaler, and Ranta flashes the glove. And Gillies, that goes off of the glass. New Jersey is able to recover. Sending the puck wide. Coming into the Canes net is Sharon Govich, and his chance is denied there by Antti Ranta. Bothered behind the net, and now he's able to play it forward. Martin will lose it. He'll come forward, and Jack Hughes, he'll lose the edge. And here comes Jarvis. He'll drop it back. Oh, and Jarvis right on, and Gillies makes the save. You can force this young group of uh, New Jersey forwards to turn the puck over. That's what Hughes did. Aho jumps in after the Jarvis drop, and Sebastian gets it back to Seth. The chemistry between these two, and a nice challenging save from Gillies. Speeding Sharon Govich into the Canes end. Be now picked up along the sides by Heischer. Working way out front, shot right on Ronta with a big save. Puck still loose into the corner as Ronta out in front is Bastion and Saka. Get a look behind the Devils net. The puck stays there out in front. Martin Agree to flex it. And Gillies has to be ready. A redirection by Martin Hook and Gillies. By getting the puck behind the New Jersey defense. Smart decision and he nearly finishes it. Face off to the left of Gillies after that try by Martin. Jarvis will take the draw back. Pesci will fire one that goes wide of the net. James will keep it in. Jarvis out front, back in, just a score! This time Martin finishes it. And Carolina gets the hot start. They're up 1 0. And in this case, with Jarvis. What a job physically by Jarvis getting to that puck. This is Seth Jarvis. He all muscles Graves. And Martin could have been antsy. He could have thrown it right to the net, but Boquist was there. He shoots that puck. Boquist goes stick on puck. We'll scurry away with the puck. And Nico Heischer. He lays that off for Zaka. Back to Heischer right on and Ronta with the save. Loose puck scooped up by Slavin. Trying to work around Cole. Good work by Ian Cole. Slowing down Mercer. Now Janssen's taking on his back in and Ronta. With a steady left pad save, but a penalty is going to be called. Carolina is going to be a man down. Shea getting it done at both ends, an assist on the only goal. Halfway through the first period, Carolina leads New Jersey 1-0. A minute 15 left on the Devils power play, but the Canes penalty killer, Sebastian Ajo. All that goes to the character of a ton of the men who wore the Whalers uniforms like we're seeing here tonight. Now Carolina D'Angelo rips one. That hits the metal. Jarvis scoops up the rebound. Oh, gets it to him. He settles it down. Clear look for Gillies. Oh, it goes end over end. So that fooled the goaltender. Through the neutral zone. Picked up by Tatar. Sends it across for Janssen. And on Ronta. Ronta kicks out the pad. Carolina back the other way. Svechnikov with speed, with space. Takes it in on Gillies. Gillies makes the same rebound. They'll score. Vincent Trocek follows up. This line continues to be dangerous. And they've posted Carolina 2 0. Avanti Ranta and then Spetsnikov building a game. Draws a penalty, avoids the goaltender. I think it's going to be Spetsnikov's goal. Heischer gets it right back. Heischer trying to slide the pass across for Bastion. Puck along the boards. Back up top. Shot put on by Severson. Ronta with the save. Heischer to the rebound. Takes his man out in the corner. Zaka will get to it. He will just blind flip this one out into the cane zone where it'll be picked up. Racing for it. Into the cane zone. It's poking it. Now settling it up in the slot. Shot put on and no score. Jasper Boquist gets it through the pads of Auntie Ronta. Boquist's first of the season. They're going to make a change. We have seen this. Johnny Quokin and buys time. Two players off the bench, and they both factor in. Heck of a job from Quokin.
and Jimmy VC, the former Harvard standout, gets it to Boquist in a one-timing position. 15th goal of his season, and Carolina had a big 2-0 lead, but it was New Jersey getting a goal late by Jasper Boquist. Skating with speed is Mercer. He'll leave it back. Zaka goes wide, and this puck comes out. And now Lawrence turns on the Jets. He'll get to it. He's got Niederreiter with him. Lawrence is shot right on, and Gillies with the save. Just bad break. And then Lawrence follows up. And two for two tonight, killing off a big penalty to start the frame. And Carolina with more time. Slavin with a bullet that was labeled for the upper corner, but Gillies makes the save. And Jacob Slavin, who was so good on the early kill, he leaned into this big time. And Gillies has been very good. Need to get to, to a little bit more on that story if we have time. As D'Angelo sends one out in front. Ajo gets to it. Settled down by Jarvis. He's been shot. is put on. And a glove save by Gillies. He'll hang on. Face off in the devil's zone. Really a great save. The spin move from Jarvis like Martinuk on the first goal of the game. And to locate. And then the snare from Gillies. Gillies has been very good here in this second period. There with two blasts from the blue line. Now this puck gets away from him. Stepping around on his Boquist. Boquist goes in on net. Back in. Just Ronta with the save. Oh, Auntie Ronta. This is such a great save because, for a couple of reasons. Bear can't handle it. Boquist is coming in with a ton of speed. So he has to take one push out to be able to match that speed. And then he's able to seal the area that Boquist wisely opens up. But Carolina will track it down. Now a chance is poking it comes up. Sending it into Bastion. Bastion in on Ronta. Ronta, another huge save. He had a couple partial breakaway saves and not even close to better than this one. Patience layered on the glove side. When you hear the terms, genuine article, real deal. That is Rod Brindamore. When anybody asks why are the Hurricanes in the spot they're in now is one of the best teams in the NHL. To Lawrence. Lawrence takes a peek. He finds D'Angelo jumping in on the play. Tries to return it to Lawrence. Deflected along the boards. Now pops out in front. Niederreiter back in. Gillies with the save. Second opportunity. And Nino Niederreiter almost made it a two-goal lead here. An outstanding save. Keeps it one goal. Just for Brock taking advantage of more space. He'll have that knocked away by Brady Shea. Oh, excellent defensive play by Shea. Up to Natchez. Now Natchez through the neutral zone. Into the devil's end. Snap right across. Shot put on Pesci. Trickles to the goal line and stays out. Subban saved a goal. Outstanding chance for the Kings. Yeah. Boy, it, it goes almost off of his right skating in. And Subban comes in and saves the day. What a save. And it looked like it was going to stop on the goal line. But Subban is able to come in and cup it one swooping motion d'angelo across the way it's natchez waiting for some traffic out front trocek he has it back to d'angelo to especially golf tries to pick the corner gillies with the save trocek to the rebound hughes picks it up finds brock now sent back shot put through no that hits a body it'll deflect through kane's defense holds the fourth down for Monty Ronta at the end of this one. And Carolina, two up, Brass Bonanza, a 2-1 win.